You know who's super pumped? I'm super pumped. I, th I think that when I locked these three things together, it exponentially changed my business and finally put it on the right path. Most businesses have all of these things. They just don't either recognize them, they don't understand them, and they're certainly not using them in the right manner. What I want to talk about are the three things that absolutely will change your business if you understand them and you really put some effort into making these things a priority. Priority is a huge thing in this podcast, so you're going to hear it a lot. Get used to it. So the three things, let's just get them out of the way in, in case you're just trying to go as fast as you can. You only have a minute to listen to me. I'll give them to you right now. They are soul, vision, and budget. Those are the three things that you really have to understand, nail down, and really get to the bottom of so that you can make the business of your dreams. So let's talk about the soul. What is the soul? Now, more importantly, who is the soul? The soul is your people, but not everybody. People need to be led. They need to have an example. So the people who have been there the longest need to have the best attitude. The CEO certainly needs to be the chief storyteller. When everybody needs to get realigned on the story of why you guys get up in the morning and go to battle and do the things that you do to change the world and hopefully make a little bit of money, you need to have that why very clear with your people. So you need to have a soul. My soul is keep music going. I want music to be able to change the world because I think it can and I think it does. I just don't think that music gets the opportunity to change the world as much as it should be able to. Music is very powerful. You have to have that passion. You have to have soul in everything that you do. And I do mean everything. Soul is what is going to give your people that reason why. That is what they need. That's what you need. And sometimes you need to communicate that every single day to yourself. That is why you get out of bed. All right, let's talk about the next one, the vision. The vision is your roadmap of where you're going. And you need that clear vision. So when you have a vision, a lot of people have this grandiose vision and it's at the very end, you know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. That's that Hall of Fame goal. What I'm talking about is make sure that you're communicating your Super Bowl goal. Make sure you're communicating the games that you're playing because what you need to do is articulate your vision so that you can have it come to fruition. And if you're not making the measurable steps day in and day out, you're never going to get to that Hall of Fame. So communicate your vision to not only your people, but the world. I want you to speak this thing into existence. Be the monster that you know you can be. And when I say monster, I mean, let it out. Let the beast out. I'm talking about that thing that is inside of you that you know has been there your whole life. You knew that you were destined to do bigger things, greater things, amazing things. But now you're going to let it out. How do you let it out? You got to get the right knowledge so that you can unlock the chains. You got to get the right resources so that you can let this thing out so it can do some amazing things in your life. The only way to do that is start breaking the chains of you don't have enough money. You don't have enough time. You don't have enough knowledge. You don't know the right people. Well, it's time to break those chains so that your monster can actually do something for you because it's powerful, but it's a double-edged sword. So be careful. The next thing is budget. We got to make sure that we are budgeting the right amount of time. We got to make sure that we are budgeting the right amount of dollars. Now, I'm not telling you to just budget whatever the heck you want, because if you don't have a billion dollars in the bank, don't budget a billion dollars. We got to do small, measurable, repeatable steps so that we can climb that stair step of life, so that we can get to that deluxe apartment in the sky. Come on, everyone was singing it. That's what everyone wants to do. They want to change their stars. They want to go to that next level. So when I'm saying you're going to release your monster, you're going to release a lot of responsibility to tame it just the same. So be prepared to get a bunch of knowledge, spend some time, spend the dollars, spend everything wisely. 
Like this is going back to our previous podcast in getting those bank accounts in line so that we are spending the right things at the right time to go to the right places. So in everything that you do, I want to make sure that you have soul. You put your soul into it. You put your fingerprint on it. You make sure that people remember your name. One of the things that I would recommend in networking, when you enter a room, you make sure that people know that the room is different because you are there. Now, I'm not saying be loud and boisterous. I'm just saying make an impact. Have soul in everything you do. Have vision in everything you do. Now, think about it. Vision can get cloudy. Get the right people around you. Don't let people get in your ear because people inevitably will tell you, you know what? You can't do that. You know what? You're not good enough for that. You know what? There's no way that someone from our background can make that. I was told that every single time I would go out there and proclaim to the world that I was going to be able to start a school, start a studio, be a singer, whatever it was. But the thing that was different was I put the work in, not just the hard work, the labor, the day in, the day out, the grind. I put the work in in my mind. I put hard work into getting the right knowledge so that I could put my hard work with my hands on the right road so that I could really, really be efficient in everything that I was doing. Now, did I always do that? Heck no. I've learned this throughout the years. I wish I would have learned it sooner. And that's why I'm doing this. That's why I made my podcast so that hopefully 10-year younger me out there just praying for any knowledge, praying for someone to say, hey, you know what? I got your back. I can be your snowplow. I can move that snow out of the way for you. So, I'm just trying to make sure that my mistakes are useful because I can tell you and share my mistakes, everything that I did the wrong way, and you're going to be able to not do those, and I can share with you what I learned out of those things, and then you're going to be able to apply it to your life, and you're going to really fast forward who you can be, where you can go, what you can do, because you listened to me mess up. I put a lot of energy into these mistakes. I'm just trying to convert that energy into your prosperity. I'm trying to convert you into being something better than you are right now. But I'm telling you right now, I never, when I I got told nonstop, there's no way you're going to do it, Greg. There's no way you can do it. You're going to fail. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You don't have enough money. You don't have the credit. You don't have the people. You don't have the gear. And I want you to know I did not follow through on this journey that I keep talking about in this Final Percent podcast to prove them wrong. Because I'll be honest with you, I started listening to them. I became their reality of me. I started listening to them and I adopted who they thought I was until I looked down into my soul one day and I knew that this isn't who I am. So I stayed true to my soul and I got on this vision and I started budgeting my energy, my time, everything. And I realized that I did not do this to prove them wrong. I did this to prove my soul right. So we'll end with this. I want you to ask yourself, are you staying true to who you actually are? Not what everyone else thinks you should be. You go find that purpose in your life and you unleash the monster that's inside of you that wants to go make that a reality. This has been the Final Percent Podcast. Again, you guys are rock stars. Thank you so much. Day in and day out, sticking with me. This is going to be a great week. I am on fire with some cool concepts, and I'm excited to share them with you. Talk to you soon, guys.